In 1849, a treaty was signed between the United States and a band of Native Americans. This treaty, as most treaties of the time, faded from existence. A second treaty formulated in 1868 between the United States and the Navajo people, or in their own words, the Diné, meaning the people. This only after a campaign of forced relocation and imprisonment. In this second of treaties, for the first time implemented, was an important new article, the Article of Education. In the early 1900s, the assimilation efforts written into some of those laws ordered indigenous natives to be westernized by converting through Anglo-influenced practices and lifestyles, thus transforming a once called savage people by the United States government into a properly cultured society. In order to do so, the indigenous people would have to completely abandon their original ethnic language and speak English only. An area crucial to this time period has existed and withstood the elements of time and space. This location was a place that once imprisoned the Navajo during a previous century and outlawed a way of life. This location now provides a place for new life and opportunities for the Diné to reclaim indigenous sovereignty for their future through indigenous education, values and teachings. Immersion teaching has been in existence for some time throughout the world. The concept and purpose of immersion is for identity, self-identity. In this world today, identity is more important than ever. The general idea is to revitalize the native language, whether here in the United States or elsewhere in the world. A person identifies themselves through heritage language and heritage culture, and is socially recognized. Locally, the concept of immersion started in the mid-1980s. Today, the Tsehotso Dinepa Ultra School is an exemplary institution for higher learning for students in their Diné language. The immersion program is a positive step toward continuing the path made by our forefathers. Manuelito, a great Navajo leader, encouraged the Diné by stating that education is the latter. Tsehotso is located along the Arizona and New Mexico border and has a population of nearly 10,000 residents. The name Tsehotso literally means a green meadow flowing from the rock canyon. A beautiful and tranquil place. A beautiful place in many ways, but yet the Diné language does not exist in some families. As an opinion polls describes from 2005, a staggering percent of community parents would like for their children to speak Navajo, but only 8% identify with actually speaking and understanding the language. This is an alarm to the community and to many who wish to continue the teaching of the Diné language in their community. This community, like others in the area, strongly believe that it is the school's responsibility, although it is also a home settings responsibility to recognize the social importance of a language. Because language itself is the key to true self-expression and existence.
Tseotso de Nempa Ultra is a K-8 grade school with 19 teachers, instructing and teaching exclusively in the Diné language, where students learn to read, write, and speak the Diné language, a place where children can naturally absorb the Diné teachings. This is a place where teachers help students to develop and understand the Diné language and culture. These instruction programs include after-school oral language enrichment, after-school academic tutoring and reteaching, summer oral language enrichment and academic tutoring and reteaching, thus emphasizing natural oral language development of culture and tradition. The goal of Immersion School is to revitalize and maintain the importance of indigenous social and language skills within a community. Values of the language are important for the student, and by helping a student to understand and preserve this can only lead to a student's success, enabling a positive outcome to learn, speak, and communicate bilingually understanding both the Diné language and English language. This is done with a culturally based curriculum meeting the Arizona academic standards. Tsehotso Diné Pa'oltra uses both the Diné and English language to teach. By this, providing required instruction with Navajo tribal cultural standards and the English curriculum in that way, this school is very unique in teaching performance by use of the Diné language and teaching academic standards. A secondary program includes the 9th through 12th grade students with 11 Diné instructors. Immersion provides a student a totally different viewpoint of learning rather than the more dominant Western social viewpoint. With the immersion teachings, Navajo students, as well as other students, are revitalizing their language to have a better understanding and ability to make better choices. A goal and wish from the immersion program is that other immersion schools will start and continue for our future generations in the way of maintaining and revitalizing the Diné language. Yeah, it's, hey, the honorable leadership, uh, senators, uh, congressmen, uh, this is Dr. Joe Shirley Jr., Navajo Nation President. You've helped us out this far, and I want to say thank you for that on behalf of my children and our students. And I want to ask for your continued support at the Navajo Language Immersion Program at the Navajo Ultica at Fort Defiance, Arizona. I believe uh, using our language to get at education is, is, is the way to go with my people. Uh, I think we've proven now that, that to do that, our kids do better. That's the reason why I'm supporting the Navajo Language Immersion Program at Sao Ho the Neva Ultica in Fort Defiance, Arizona. Thank you for your continuing support. Yat A. I'm Vicki Shirley. I'm First Lady of the Navajo Nation. I'm also a parent of children who attended the Tehotso Navajo Immersion School. I have seen firsthand what the benefits of the immersion program are. My children are now able to read and write in Navajo. The key to continuing being Navajo and to save our way of life as well as keep our culture alive is in the language. The language is what makes us Navajo. President Shirley and I, as well as the Navajo Nation, have made Navajo language retention a priority by establishing what is known as the Title X, which creates the Navajo Nation Department of Education. Please continue support of immersion programs throughout Native America. Ahiahat. Thank you. A place of harmony and balance is the goal of a beautiful life with all the elements to complement one another in harmony. In our Diné language, this is called Hojon. May you walk in beauty, always, and may this continue to exist for future generations to follow. <laughs>